All right, welcome back uh, to chapter nine, section two. This is something that I would normally do in class, but uh, here is a video on it. Uh, we are on page 472, and I want you to copy down the core concept that is at the bottom of page 472. We are going to be talking about the arc length and the area of a sector. And so you know, for our circle with a central angle of theta and a radius, we have this uh, slice of pizza right here. The arc length is the crust. And then the area of the sector would be how much pizza slice you have. So the equations that you need to know is that the arc length, uh, we call S, is equal to the radius times the central angle, so R theta. And then the area of the sector actually kind of looks familiar. The area is one half r squared theta. So the area of this pizza slice is one half the radius squared times the central angle. There is a great example on page 473, and you can read it and even try number 13 at the bottom. I'm not going to do that because that is on big ideas. Let me do an exercise problem from page 4. 75. All right, so we're going to turn to page 475 and do number 28 together. You probably want to look at it because the picture actually kind of helps explain the whole situation, especially if you're like me and don't really know much about Olympic shot putting. So modeling in the men's shot put event at the 2012 Summer Olympics, the length of the winning shot was 21.89 meters. The shot put must land within a sector that has a central angle of 34.92 degrees to be considered fair. Okay, so I'm guessing that there's a person standing here and this person is allowed to throw in this area with a central angle of 34.92 degrees and they can throw this far, 21.89 meters, 21.89 meters, right? So I'm starting to see that this is part of a circle and the radius is 21.89 and the central angle where the uh, shot putter can lob the uh, shot put um, is 34.92. So part A says that the officials draw an arc across the fair landing area, marking the farthest throw find the length of the arc. Okay, so for part A, we're gonna do S equals R theta. Now, big thing that a lot of people forget, especially when they're going really fast, that theta needs to be in radians. We are no longer using degrees to do math. We have to use radians. Degrees actually, they are unitless. They don't really um, help with anything. So I know my radius, it is, 21.89, so I need to figure out my radians. Now, if I want my degrees to be in radians, that means I need to put pi on top and 180 on the bottom. Notice that degree over degree will cancel out. Again, if you want radians, pi goes on top. If you want a degrees, 180 goes on top. So I'm honestly just gonna plug it all into the calculator using the pi button, of course. So we have 21.89 times 34.92 times pi divided by 180. And the answer is about 13.3 meters. So this arc length here for, um, and just to check your work, the arc length here for uh, the shot put is going to be 13.3 meters, and that answers part A. Let's look at part B. All fair throws in the 2012 Olympics landed with a sector bounded by the arc in part A. What is the area of the sector? All right, pretty straightforward now. Now, I never really wrote down um, what this was as a radian, and probably be too convoluted. I'd rather let the calculator take care of it. So we'll just let the calculator take care of it again. In this case, though, I have to do 1 half times 21.89 squared and then multiply by 
34.92 pi all over 180. And if I type it in the calculator like this, order of operations is gonna take care of it. So uh, I'm gonna just write in 0.5 because it's just easier that way. 21.89 squared times 34.92 pi over 180, enter. And it looks like we get an area of around 146 meters squared for all fair throws. So um, honestly, these questions are pretty straightforward. You're gonna get a couple ones where you might have to like subtract something and that's something we can talk about during class time. But uh, for the most part, you just need to be able to identify the radius, convert your theta into radians, plug it in your calculator correctly, check your work, looking for details, and then you'll get your area of a sector if you follow this formula, sorry, the arc length if you follow this formula and the area of the sector if you follow that formula. That is pretty much it for chapter nine, section two. Uh, there's other problems that we will do together at some point. So enjoy and then be ready for chapter nine, section three, one of my favorite ones.